they, they did this. They gave us another pair to give away to one of you. Ah! Oh! So uh, this is courtesy of Oxbeam. And we're super excited to be able to provide this to one lucky viewer. details in a little bit about how you could win a pair of these headlights for yourself along with details down below in the description on how you could buy some if you're not the lucky winner this time okay so what's going on we are finding a dark dark spot in the dark dark city on a dark dark night down a dark dark road the joke dad joke about the tricycle bicycle okay there's a bicycle a man you know what? No, really. There's a nicely dressed man on a bicycle, and there's a poorly dressed man on a tricycle. What's the difference? I don't know. What's the difference? A tire. <laughs> but I'm bunch. I thought so. Oh god. Okay, so we got Why the props. Why the bicycle on. stand up? It was too tired. <laughs> I was afraid. The whole point is. Yeah. Okay, so it's finally the weekend. Come uh, on. Uh, well, you know, I'm just happy that you're out of the house. Yeah. It's <laughs> the, well, it's the weekend. Right? Yeah, it is the weekend. It's Friday night. Wait, you're not supposed to give it away. Oh. Yeah, it's Friday. Hey. It's not. It's actually nighttime. We never video at night. We don't. We're doing something new. Unless we're night riding. We're crazy. So here's what we got. We're going to do a giveaway. We are going to do a giveaway. We're going to tell you in a little bit, not right this moment, how, how you give away. But stay tuned to this video all the way to the end, and you'll see what's coming up. And hopefully by then we've decided how we're going to do this. It's true. And then we'll list out what you got to do, and then you'll win something. Hopefully it'll be you. Yep. Yeah. Right now we're going to do this, and we'll explain in a little bit. We'll be back. Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing now? Now we're going to get right to the meat of the matter. Yep. Yeah. So we said somebody was going to win something, and here's what it's going to be. Ooh, so this uh, this is specific, I think. I don't know if it's specific, but uh, we're going to do a little install right now and see how this works, and then uh, stick around, watch us uh, get this installed. It should be easy. Yeah, and as part of this video for this install, we're using this. Yeah. You might ask yourself, what part of the install would a drone play? Well, what? What part of the install would a drone play? The drone would fly. It's going to videotape the brightness of the lights. Right? We'll see. We'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Off-Road, sir, what are you doing down here? I am going to get this thing ready. We've had it. I don't know. Well, we've had this thing for a couple years, huh? And it, and it makes for really good footage. We should use it more. We should, we should use it more. The thing is, it makes for good footage. You just have to take it out of that yeah. case. Well, a while back I crashed it and the, these props are kind of messed up. I don't know, so I kind of let that get in the way. Let's you see. know what? Well, we what's have... in here? What? I said, what's in here? We have had this in the trailer with us every trip. Yep, and there's some of these things. Those are handy. Anyway, so here's what we're going to do. we got some new props. These. These. I think there's two sets here. I think I'm gonna throw all these other ones away. You have two brand new sets. Why use all those? That's, that's what happens when you crash into trees. Well, we might we might have uh, flown it in some spots you shouldn't on private property. Okay. But too close. We didn't do anything because I've never even touched that drone for flying purposes. That's not true. But babe, you're right. It was we because. What you break, I break. Same, vice versa then. Uh, we don't have two. We only have one set. So we're gonna keep some of those just in case. Anyway, here's here's our new, our new to us. Actually, they are new. They are new, right? Yeah, they're okay. new. Yeah. So we're gonna. I'm just like, kind of amazed by how pretty this garage looks. I know. It's Look amazing. at that. Oh, snap. Oh, what? Cool Kids Club. Brand new props. Mm. How do you know they're on the right ones? Well, it's left-handed and right-handed threads. Oh. Well, that makes it handy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tell me the joke. 
Again. The gel? Dead joke, not the tricycle, bicycle. Okay. There's a bicycle, a man. You know what? No, really. There's a nicely dressed man on a bicycle, and there's a poorly dressed man on a tricycle. What's the difference? I don't know. What's the difference? A tire. <laughs> but I'm bunch. I thought so. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, so we got Why the props on. Why the bicycle stand up? It was too tired. <laughs> I was afraid. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so come, these come with this handy dandy tool and you put this around the motor, right? Yeah. Like this. This is not a how-to on flying drones. We're just including this because it's what we're doing tonight. Right. This is what we're doing and you'll understand why in a minute why we're doing all this. I so hope. what does that motor thing do? Just tightens it on? S tightens that, it on. That holds the motor so you can tighten the props. Ah! So then we're gonna remove the, the covers from the camera. Make sure that we have a... The camera's very crucial. Make sure we have a memory card in this thing so we can record. Set everything, everything over there. And then we're gonna get this set up so I can get my phone set up on here. Seems like a lot of stuff you gotta do. It's a lot of steps. Why is there always so many things? Yeah. Oh, that's okay, yeah. I remember now, so I haven't seen it in a long time. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been broke, a bit. Yeah, look at this. I broke my phone today. It's pretty How awesome. Did you do that? You wanna be like me? You broke my phone the other day. I know. So I broke, it's weird. I never break stuff. I know. Brandy breaks a lot of stuff. I do. It's and I broke both of our phones and she didn't break one. <laughs> I mean, not yeah. yet. That's true. This time. Yeah. This uh, time. Did you right. see my- um... We'll be back in a minute because I don't oh, remember yeah. what software. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hey, found uh... what we needed. We need the uh, DJI software to connect the phone to this guy. So let's check it out. Perfect. Okay, now what we gotta do is fire everything up, turn on the radio. I don't know why it's doing that, we'll be right back. What's next? Okay, so I showed them I found the app on my phone. We're gonna plug this thing, the, the turn this on. This is not a how-to. I might right. be doing it wrong. This so. is just what we're doing. If I'm doing it wrong, I'm doing it wrong. Too bad. Cut. Too bad. <laughs> Are you excited to fly this? Yeah. I'm kind of excited just because we haven't been out of our neighborhood. Like we're gonna see some stuff now. Yeah. We're gonna see the world. Let's see. Okay. Remote control signals weak. That's weird because it's right there. What happened? It says remote control signals weak. Weak? You're weak, DJI. I don't know. Kidding. Uh -oh. <gasps> I remember that sound. Something's happening. Got the floor is looking good, and from right here, I can't tell that the rest of it's not done. It looks like. All right. Yeah. Ah, oh, right there. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're just trying to figure this out. This is like a tower shop. You need some EFX sand slayers. So we're gonna put this thing up in there real, for, real quick, and then we'll show you why. Geez, you know what I've noticed about the air, speaking of the air, it's a lot clear, cleaner down here in the valley yeah. since nobody's out, you know? That app is so cool. That's the road. The home point is Yeah.
So let's just take it up and let's go see what it looks like in town and we'll show you. Okay. That was pretty cool looking, huh? It was way cool looking. Yeah. We were like, we went on a freaking Now journey. it's Now it's landing over here. Uh, oh, there it is. That little dot in the sky, okay. It's it's automatically landing. No, no, no. You're doing it. Oh, oh, there it is. And, uh, Okay, this is taking too long. We're gonna take it down. Okay, so we're grabbing a couple of items for for this project. We're doing a garage project on a Friday night. Look, it's dark. We'll show you why. There's a reason we're doing it in the dark. Hang on, we gotta grab some tools. So first we got, we have an impact. We need a quarter inch drive, 10 millimeter socket. Do we have one? We do. Nope, that is three H drive. Um, let's do this. Let's switch to a 3H drive, one of these guys. Let's just hide him in here. Right here. Okay, so we have the 3H. Okay. We're gonna grab this 3H 10 millimeter socket. Now we got our whole setup right here. We got our impact. Just in case, we're gonna grab, just in case, we're gonna grab a long extension. We'll be right back. What's going on? Okay, we got the tools we need. That's a big Here's what's going on. You ready? Here, let's let's show them what's going on here. Okay. So here's what's going on. Um, we told you a little bit ago earlier in the video we're doing a giveaway. Here's what we're giving away. See these ox beam lights? LED light bulbs. Right. We're getting ready to put a pair of these in Boosty. He's intimidating right there. And here's what they look like. Check them out. That's what they look at. I don't know if you're supposed to touch any of this, so I'm trying to be careful. But that is what they look like. Um, they look pretty cool. I don't know much about these. I don't, I'm not gonna claim any kind of knowledge. We're just trying them out. We showed you, we're gonna show you before and after how bright they are. Um, I think it's good that we have no there's knowledge. There's two of these. One for each side, that's handy. And then we got these. These are some kind of adapters, obviously, that run LEDs from your regular light connectors. So, got watertight seals. I'm not sure where we put all this stuff, but let's take a look. Looks like there's some. Oh, what do we got? What is it? Instructions. Yeah. I'm, try <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know how to do this. We need, actually need these. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know it's pretty straightforward, like this is going to plug into this and this is going to plug in to where the um, current light bulbs plug in, but I don't know, like maybe do they have an idea of where you, you know, we got to do something with all that. That's a lot of packaging. You know. So I'm we're going to take a look at this. I'm glad you kept these instructions. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. <laughs> okay. So I'm not going to lie. These we went through thoroughly. They suck. 
They did. They're worthless. But let's see how these lights are. I'm not making any judgment about the lights. They came with these. I mean, these are cool. Look at that. That's some, that's some freaking hardware right there. Yeah. Anyway. They so feel let's do, sturdy. Yeah, let's do this. All right, so we got to pop the hood. We're going to pull we got to pull the grill out. All right, we're going to pop the hood. We'll show you exactly how this process goes. That's great. Right. In my old age, I've gone blind. Okay, you ready? Here, show. Let's show everybody what has to be done. Okay, what do you got to do? You got to pop, you got to take the grill off. Yep. That beautiful, beautiful grill. I think it's so a there's four bolts along the top here. If you can see them. Oh, I thought they were, um, oh yeah, they are. They're 10 millimeter. There's four of them. I'm going to get a light so I can show our... I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a ladder so I can see. Okay, finally. Wow, you are up there, huh? Here we go. That's how high you have to be to work on this truck. So you gotta take these parts out. Take these out. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's what you gotta do. Uh, we gotta pull these pins that hold the... Uh, I'm missing one. I'm missing one. That's weird. Um, there's like a plastic piece over here. Come and check this out. Okay. I don't know why the one on the other side is missing. That's kind of weird. We need to pull this pin up. I'm going to grab some. Okay. What's this thing? I've never seen it. God. Okay. Now what we need to do, you pull the grill forward, right? Right. And down in here, can you get down in here? Mm-hmm. You gotta pull it until it feels like it's gonna break. Oh god. That sucks. But there's some little slots. What you do is you get into those slots with a screwdriver and you release the pins. I'm pretty sure that one released. Oh, I see. Those pins. Okay. That one on the far right is not released. Right? No, to your left, it looked like. Oh. Okay. Oh. So then, once you've released those pins, the whole grill. The grill. Just left right off. Right on the mouth, like it's a grill. Just left right off. Oh, yeah. Wow. It just looks amazing. All right. He took his shirt off. It's weird. So this piece that's on this side is not on this side. I think on the different years that changes because we looked at another one that had that piece over here. Okay. That piece. Right. Anyway, so here's where the little things lock the grill into place. And this on the ends. Yeah. These little pans here. They pop right in here. All right. So now that we have that off. We're going to take our impact and we're going to pull it. Whoa. Whoa. Too much angry. power, huh? He's angry. We're going to pull out these tins to hold the light assembly in. I think there's, there's one up here on top. I think there must be another one back here. Oh yeah, maybe, maybe not. Oh yeah, right in the corner, I think, right here. Right in there, it's a little tough to get to. Oh yeah. And then you need, you know what, hold on a second, we'll be right back. Okay. Get what you needed? Got what I needed. So what we did is we uh, switched from three H drives to quarter inch drives so that the- uh, More fittier? Yeah, it's a little slimmer. And uh, still, that socket may still have a hard time getting in there. Oh, that's better. Now we can 
pull this this guy out. Now we can pull this guy out. That little light is going on and off. Is that normal? Yeah, we're good. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We drop that bolt. I'll find it. All right. Here's what we gotta do. We're gonna pull this out. The old light. And it just twists. Yeah, give me some light up here. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to take the connector off first before we pull the light out. And it is tight. Like you want your connector to be tight. You do. Okay. Connector's off. Now we untwist this bulb out of there. You make it look so easy on TV. No. Okay, there we go. Here okay. is the original light. We're going to set these inside. Yeah. Aside. Good. Not inside. Aside. We're going to set these aside in case we decide that we like these better. We might We might set them inside. We don't know. Yeah. So. All right. Let's go swap these out. All right. So. I'm going to grab one of these. Look how fancy those look. And one of these. Okay. And when we get this in, we're going to fire it up and we're going to show you uh, the, difference. the difference. We're going to have one light, old one, light installed, one new one. Oh. Here we like go. I said turn it 45 degrees or something. Thing. Locked in place. Okay. We're going to cook this connector up. Comes with this, probably a ballast of some kind. And and that guy up. This plugs into here. And what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna zip tie this together later. Some kind of action like this or something. And right now we're gonna set it in here so we can show you what it looks like. Okay. All right. Okay, here we are in the garage. We're gonna compare these. You probably can't even see me, but hopefully you can hear me. The truck's loud. Okay, turn the lights on. Oh wow, look at the difference. You definitely, definitely, definitely see a difference. Way different. Let's let's see from back here. Okay. Uh bright. Okay, that's good. Now bright. Dim. Big difference. I can tell. All right, we're going to get this swapped over and uh, put the other one in, and then we'll show you from above. We'll be right back. Let's go down. I am going to zip tie these wires up just because we have all this extra wire here. What did you notice? Was there something on the back of that light? Yeah, we're going to show you right now. Here, actually, uh, turn the headlights on real quick. Okay. Hear it? Yeah, so get close to this. I was wondering why there was like a ginormous assembly right here. That's a fan. That's a little fan. Yeah. It's a little fan. Awesome. All right. That's cool. I don't know much about these lights. We just, they're bright. They look cool. We have a, we have a set to give to you. Yeah, and they're supposed to be awesome. I read all the specs. So we'll Let me tell turn you. Them off. We'll tell you at some point how you get them. So, so far you're thinking they're pretty good, right? Yeah, I mean, as long as they hold up and everything, they look awesome. I think it's gonna be cool when we, when we sit back and watch the before and after comparison, because, So we know. did kind of a, I did a zip tie a thong right here, just because I don't want this stuff to flop all around back here. Flop in the boot. And I'm gonna cut these off. Well, you know, zip ties, that's, those mm. are called secure, secure me. Secure it. I mean, yeah. whatever. And there might be a better way to do this. Tell us. This is the best way, though. Yeah. Whatever you come up with, I'll still think I did it better than you did. 
he won't think that. If you come up with a better way, he'll be like, wow, that was way cool. So stop. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, though, buddy. All right. Now Make sure that we get everything. Yeah, we're going to put the bolts back in this side. Okay, you need this ladder? No. No? No. Oh. We're going to put the bolts back in this side, and then we will tear the other side apart and do the same. You don't have to watch that. And okay. then we will show you the overhead. Yay! So we'll be back. Okay. All okay. right, that side's done. We're going to pull this side apart real quick, put it together, and then we'll give you the overhead. I'm excited. Pull apart. Okay. okay, same process as the other side. Everything's all, you know, watertight seals in the wiring. It looks like pretty quality stuff. I have no experience with this stuff, but it looks good You're and the lights are bright and it has a fan. Do your headlights have fans on them? If not, I don't know. Maybe you want to win these. It's going to be a contest of some kind. Yeah. A kid, a kid. All right, there we go. So now we are ready to put the grill back in. That's, wow, that was really actually. I'm going to turn the headlights on. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, yeah. Let's turn some lights off. Okay, turn them back off. Hold on, we gotta wait for that light to come off. Okay, turn them on. We're gonna show you what the um, stock lights versus, versus uh, the new lights look like. So here's looking head on to them. Hit the brights. Let's go over here and check them out this way. There's marks on here where it was, so easy to line back up. Snug is a grill on a Ford. That's what I'm going to say from now on. Very snug. Okay, so what's going on? We are finding a dark, dark spot in the dark, dark city on a dark, dark night down a dark, dark road to test out our new lights from Oxbeam. We are in our 2011 Ford F-250. We um, were approached by Oxbeam, thank you guys, uh, and they wanted us to try out one of their products. They also are sponsoring this video by providing an extra set of these same headlights for us to gift to one of our subscribers. So, what we're gonna do is uh, go over the rules on how you could possibly become the winner of these headlights, which I'm digging. Do you like them? I like them. They're definitely brighter than what we had, the stock lights. They're white, they're bright, they have little miniature fans. Each one of them has an individual fan to keep them cool. I'll, I'll give you all the details later, plus a link, um, so that way you could check them out for yourself. And one of you guys, one lucky subscriber, is gonna win a pair for themselves. So, let's see what's going on, check it out. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at these lights real quick. Are you Check ready? Check it out. Pretty cool. So we already showed you an overhead. We showed you in the garage. Here's on a dark, dark road in the country. It's dangerously dark. Okay, here we go. Ready? Here's on dim. Whoa. And here's brights. Ah! <laughs> uh, I don't know how well you can see that in the camera, but it's a big difference. They work very well. What do you think? I think they're awesome. Thanks, Oxbeam. I, I definitely recommend these, and we will be running these in our Ford F-250 Boosty for all of you subscribers that already know our guy. Um, but like I said, we're going to give you some more details in a little bit about how you could win a pair of these headlights for yourself, along with details down below 
in the description on how you can buy some if you're not the lucky winner this time. We'll be working with these guys again. Guys, um, here are the details for our giveaway contest. Thank you to Oxbeam for uh, providing us with the awesome headlights. You just watched us install easily into Boosty, our 2011 Ford F250. Oxbeam reached out, asked us uh, over here at Dandy Off-Road to provide an honest review. And honestly, two thumbs up. That's what they get from Dandy Off-Road. They heard that we had uh, been voted to have the best YouTube subscribers in the world. It's true. Voted number one. YouTube subscribers, so they they did this. They gave us another pair to give away to one of you. Ah! So uh, this is courtesy of Oxbeam. And we're super excited to be able to provide this to one lucky viewer. Very easy, very easy to win. Subscribers, thank you very much. You're already a step ahead of everybody, per usual, right? <laughs> but if you're not subscribed, please do. You're already on the channel, so just hit that subscribe button. While you're at it, look how cute. Click that little bell. You're going to want to be notified because uh, after we do the drawing, um, the announcement of the name of the winner of one uh, pair of awesome Oxbeam LED headlights, you're going to have 24 hours to claim your prize. So 24 hours from the time the video is dropped, you will have 24 hours after we announce your name and reach out to you to claim your prize. Otherwise, we're going to give it to the next person who did have that notification bell clicked because it was really easy. All they had to do was go to our channel, which you're already on it, right? Dandy Off Road, youtube.com forward slash Dandy Off Road. See, I'm already subscribed, so I have the option. There's that little bell. How easy. Bing. Notified. Done. So now when the announcement's made, which will be taking place within the next four weeks, I'd say, um, I can just swoop in and get my headlights slash my artwork. One of a kind, by the way. And um, moving on. Install those and be bright, just leading the way. Um, so, subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on your chance to claim your prize. Comment. Very important. We need you to comment. Very specific here. If you don't do this, you can't even be entered to win. Hashtag headlights. All one word like that. See? Hashtag H-E-A-D-L-I-G-H-T-S. Headlights. Comment down below on YouTube, on the video that you're watching about the headlights. Comment that. Okay, guys? Uh, I'll just set this right here so that way you, you see how to spell it in case you need it. Hashtag headlights. I'm just going to leave that right there. Pause your video. That's what you need to comment down below. You can add other stuff too, but that needs to be in there. Please. And then we'll do a random drawing of all the eligible entrants. Uh, official rules again down below in the description. Eligible entrants. Okay, you're going to have to read through all that mumbo jumbo. This is a dandy off-road contest. Not sponsored by YouTube. Also, uh, you need to be 18 or over, need to live in the US, and one entry per person, please. Read below, there's more stuffs going on, all the legalities and mumbo jumbos. Like, give us a like. Look at that thumb that I drew, very artsy. You're learning a lot about me. Give us a like, we like that kind. If you don't like, you don't have to, you know. Of course, you won't win the, I'm just saying. But give us, a, give us a like. If you don't like it, you can hit the dislike button two times. Let us know how much you hate it, so we'll stop doing that. You won't have any headlights, but you will have a voice. Um, most importantly, right, comment. That's a hashtag headlights down below. I want 186,000 likes on this video. Is it possible? Yes, it is. Anything's possible. So let's let's do it. Let's push it out. Let's get that moving right now. Campaign is on. Oxbeam again. Thank you. Thank you to our awesome subscribers. Thank you to all of our new subscribers sure to come. Um, lots of cool stuff coming your way. So hope you enjoyed this video and hope you enjoy the rest that we have coming your way. Thanks, guys. Peace.